Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Capernaum's belongings, imagine what we could learn. I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor, Calpurnia's Venatore have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. Why not attack Calpurnia head on? You attract attention, Inquisitor. Her spies would see you coming. A single agent may slip in and out without notice. This crystal may yield great rewards. Dagna, do whatever it takes to get that crystal ready. Right. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Let me find the Quicksilver. Mind your step for staying with some Inquisitor. I'll see you later, Jack. I can't wait. He likes them. Truly? Very much, Lady Ambassador. It's just butter and sugar. Her alden taste is so... simple. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duperacats a lordship? The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duperacats as lords. in here, don't you think? We are in the mountains. I'm more concerned about everything scattering whenever there's a draft.
something on your mind? Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Lord Inquisitor, Bonnie Sims at your service. I trust good secret was not your course. Now that you've come to some good fortune, you deserve an upgrade. As master of the tradesmen, I stand ready to supply your every need. Who or what are the tradesmen? A following of sympathetic and profit-minded individuals who promote local craftsmen and fair importers. A guild of sorts. Although that implies counter affiliations, we are not interested in crossing. Our purpose in the Inquisition is legitimate and honorable. You will have what you need at honest prices. Sigrid survived Haven. Where is he? About. Doing good work for you and yours. But this position is now more desirable. It was time arrangements were made. I shall make every effort to prove that this is an upgrade. What do you bring to the Inquisition? What you need, and more. It takes great coordination to make a remote location seem central. While there is no doubt the boutiques of Valroyo display the grandest of the grand, they do not travel. At least, not yet. Why are you a mere merchant if you are the master of this group? I wish to avoid the suggestion that I am a posturing commander atop a structure of malcontents. It is better to remain active, hands-on. Do you not agree, Inquisitor? We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. Thanks for my life in Haven. You've all sorts serving now. If that means change, so be it.
somewhat off color today, Inquisitor? An excess of bile, perhaps. Might I bleed you, or offer a herbal tonic? I'll ask around again tomorrow. Well, let me know if you find me. Going well, I hope. What's been going on? Varric came by to talk. He told me a story about copper marigolds. What's been going on? Madame de Fer said hello to me. Or maybe she was waving at someone else and I just thought she was. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Take care. It's you. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> the previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She... had views. Has views. Perfectly legitimate ones, if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable, now that the Inquisition is in Orlais. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. <laughs> what makes you ideal for this position? It's an important one. My family has ties to several freehold militias, as well as cousins acting as officers in Ferelden and Orlais. <laughs> And your qualifications? My family holds treaties with three new money to Vinter houses, and a rare Orzima contract with a Paragon namesake. And your qualifications? To be honest, Your Worship, that was my question. I am the nexus of a dozen threads tied by others, designed to cast the widest and most appealing resource net. But I will rise to the occasion. Skyhold will want for nothing. I swear it. <clears throat> How's it going? Do we have what we need? Our capacity increases, as do our requests to suppliers. I've had to threaten some contracts. It was exhilarating. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. He was dead the whole time. He didn't know. I've heard about some oddities here in the keep. Was that you? Yes. Maybe. What was it? Someone stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint? Mint makes the cats dance and play. Let's talk about something else. 
All right. The servants are having some trouble remembering some odd events. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. You needed that soldier to smell them, so he could die thinking he'd gone home. He did go home. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spiderwebs. The plums are already dead, but they don't mind helping. Okay. How do you know? I'm here. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something. Food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack. Fixed, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear, makes me a person, calls me kid, a friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, Solus, but somehow sorrows. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it... Old blood, deeper, passion pounding, pulsing, unchecked, raw rage, but only an option. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight, you are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. It must be sad, feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? I'll talk to you later. Probably. No, they don't. It's just what I heard.
Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost? Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Can you tell me anything about Corypheus? I know nothing of the man personally. But the Chant of Light speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of Tevinter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and be gods. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes, Dumat as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity, they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. That sounds like what happened with the breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light, before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. Corypheus said he found only chaos and corruption. The Chant of Light says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Corypheus seems so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crime. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams. Bearing the mark of their crime. Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark... Could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of Darkspawn. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. That is all I know of your adversary, Inquisitor. Some of the Chant of Light describes what we've seen and what Corypheus said, but not all of it. The Chant of Light is the work of mankind. We of all people must accept that mankind is fallible. Listeners may have misheard one of Andraste's songs. Just one word sung incorrectly could change everything. And how many verses were stricken or changed for foolish political reasons 
by the canticle of Chardin. Still, I would trust these words over any spoken by Corythius. I hope they help you. Inquisitor? Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured, as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chant of Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. How are our forces at Skyhold doing? Still in shock, for the most part. To see Haven destroyed so soon after the Conclave. You saved many, but still lives were lost. And traveling through the wilderness did not make treating injuries easier. For all that, though, more people arrive every day. Some are refugees, but others want to help. Your Inquisition is growing. I pray you use it wisely. Do you have information on people elsewhere? You have done much for the refugees in the hinterlands. Many who would have starved or frozen owe you their lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell. Until next time. Herald of Androste. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the first blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots, who tracked and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. No wonder everyone is so nervous around us. Who chose that name? Divine Justinia herself. I understand that this was not a popular decision. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth, and eventually the Templars. This is the dark chapter of history for the Divine to revisit. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was Divine Justinia's message, that when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. We can't just walk away when this is over. We have a responsibility to shape this age into something better. Perhaps you would make things better, Inquisitor. Or perhaps, in a hundred years, the Inquisition would be filled with fools vying for power, no better than the Chantry. I suppose we shall see. Farewell. Until next time.
Inquisitor, Elan Vimar. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. I intend to carry on the work of my esteemed colleague, Adan. He thought highly of you. You will be missed. I look forward to working with you. And are you? I wasn't sure what to think of you people, but recent events have put those doubts to bed. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. I am at your service. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are well supplied, and I foresee only better to come. Are there others who could come to Skyhold? They are helping now. I have contacted many of our finest, and their influence is not inconsequential. They are not, shall we say, prone to take the field, but we will be well supplied. Where did you receive your training? I studied with Adan after he left the service of the King of Ferelden. Well, when the King was no longer there to serve. Our College of Associates tends to meet informally. I've since been fortunate enough to serve various heads of state. They are all as good as another, truth be told. My skills and contacts are better suited to more imminent need. I take it you're a city elf, not Dalish. It's not a useful identifier. I am an elf. I was raised away from the Dalish. No, I do not know their customs. Perhaps that wasn't immediately obvious. It's of little concern. I have skill enough to be evaluated by what I can do. My associates appreciate my work. As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Honored to help with these, whatever they are. Inquisitor. Honored, Inquisitor. Gotzi Sturhal. Did my part on the walls. Now I'm on this strange collection you've brought us. Don't know it's worth to the fight, exactly, but it's good workmanship. Any ideas about the origin of these reliefs? To Vinter, early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of Tevinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars. Damnedest things. Massive spires that aren't stone. It's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong, though. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. And before you ask, yes, I chose to leave. I carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Couldn't stand looking at it. The memory of a dwarf, right? Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor.
How are the rescue efforts? Have they found anyone alive? Excavation is slow, as you can imagine.
You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Pleased to serve. How do you know they went to I trust all is well. That's enough for now. Another time, then.
I'm listening. I'll leave you to your work. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Cullen, if this can kill you... It hasn't yet. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. At your service. Is there anything I should know? I'd gotten used to mages disliking me on principle. Vivienne's views on Templars are surprisingly traditional. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. training so you don't embarrass those sworn to you. I'm summoned to offer instruction in the physical aspect of the Templar. I'm Sir. Sir what? Sir. Our time is brief, Herald. I trust you are serious. My general has not given glowing reports of Templar life. Yet here you are. Do you search for higher meaning behind such doubts? I don't teach that. The Order. Faith is not where Templar abilities come from. Faith is how Templars endure their abilities. I teach how to deny magics. Not fight, not match. Deny. And that lies in Lyrium. You will construct a filter, you will suffer its effects, and you will be worthy of inspiration. How you endure will be your own affair. What is it that I will endure? I know what my general is going through. Inside you, there is something you don't know you possess. Becoming a Templar will make you keenly aware. You will feel empowered. It is joyous, but once... Not yet. I'll come back. Inquisitor! Imagine the frothing of the minstrels dreaming of this meeting. Frantic. I, of course, am Lord Chancellor de Lyon, and I am here to aid your ascension to glory in the arts of the people. I shall make you a champion.
You can make me a champion? That seems hollow. Well noted. I can put you through the motions, but this is a way of thinking. Champion is about being a leader while also being known, respected. There are formalities, of course. Procedures, pish and tosh. All superseded as you already lead a nation. Once you set and have your standard, you shall command like you were born to it. And of course you were. I'm not committing yet. Let's look at you. Right, you'll survive it. Maybe. And you are? I'm a breaker. My name is Thram. And I was not expecting a messenger from this place. The Inquisitor wants to be a Reaver. <laughs> Your title is Breaker? What is that? It's a name. It serves. You will become a Reaver, or you will break. This is not a road for those who worry about what others think. You want power? Admit it. You have battles to win. If you give a toss about opinion, you can write your own history after you win. Let's not waste time. You have dragons to conquer, infusions to make, and blood to drink. What do you mean by blood? I meant what I said, and it was meant to stop you cold. This way begins and ends with dragon blood. Blood is life. Life is power. It's that simple. Reavers know it. Blood mages know it. All others can debate it in the next world. Dragons are involved? Dragons are the heart of it. The beating heart. We take of the dragon and become more than a mortal with a sword. We become a conduit to power. But we're not mages. Demons reach through but find no purchase. They're a slave to the blade. Your blade. What will this allow me to do? Win. Not just victory, but bloody victory. The withering of your enemies will empower. The more they think they prevail, the more you bleed, the more you triumph. You wish to inspire? Inspire terror. It seems like there's a lot of risk to this. There's no risk. There's a promise. If you do this, you will change. There is no retirement from this life. But unlike the Grey Warden or the Templar, you don't wither. You'll die when you fail. Until then, glory. Right. Tell me how it begins. Very well. There is instruction. There are steps. At the end, there is choice. I look forward to what you become, Inquisitor. Do not delay glory, Inquisitor. You also delay the glory of those you inspire. Set your standard. Champion awaits. You mean a literal standard? Colors. Something for you to raise or the field, the tavern, the backhouse, wherever you wish. You could cut a square and claim a mere flag. But the Inquisition is no scow alerting bridges. It's a beacon. It's a final step. Symbolic. No drowning in gold to gain its strength or other tosh. There's always a cost. What's the risk? Ah, it's the dark future of all who live by the sword. If you needed a patron, I'd say be certain you choose wisely. Many a head has been lost for the faults of others. But you, you are your own authority. You already lead, and I dare say your current task has enough risk. So dangers of the future when you retire as favorite of the people? Are you allergic to silks? It's good to be champion. Is it similar to a knight, or an Orlesian chevalier? We share a way of the field, and they can be useful. But those titles carry a certain reputation. Chevaliers are generally pricks in my experience. The people are less inclined to celebrate those backhanders. You want to be their champion. All right, Lord Chancer. I'm ready to start. Of course you are. You already have. Mere formality awaits. There's a process, a few shows of ability to start them talking. But you'll take to it just fine. Remember, it's good to be champion.
know what is needed, Herald. You will construct a filter, you will suffer its effects, and you will be worthy of inspiration. How you endure will be your own affair. This filter, describe it. It is a simple box, or an ornate one. It has simple tools or bejeweled. Depends on what you need. You will use it to prepare the daily draft of Lyrian that allows the denial of magic. No one else can do this for you. Soon you won't know you're doing it. It will be a part of you. I'm not that involved in the faith side of things. I don't quote the chant of life. Know it or don't, it has proven useful to many, but it has failed some too. Whatever you need, keep it dear. What is it that I will endure? I know what my general is going through. Inside you, there is something you don't know you possess. Becoming a Templar will make you keenly aware. You will feel empowered. It is joyous. But once you are accustomed, that something will get hungry. You have never felt this. The Order fights it with brotherhood. I don't know what a Herald has. All right. Tell me what the benefits are. Magic was meant to serve man. This is ensured through the muscle and will of Templars. We deny the mage his magic. We deny the demon its magic. We are the beacon of right on the battlefield. The benefits, Herald, the benefit is control. Very well, sir. I'm ready to learn. They all say that. Here. Yeah. Know that this is merely an introduction. The steps are simple. Kill, learn, construct. If you do not pray, Inquisitor, I recommend starting, if only to drown the filter's call. Yes? I wanted to ask you about the Circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know?
Any news on rifts beyond the reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is... not good. Right. 